but I show you my outfits that I wore every time I left the house, then I realised that it would actually be more interesting to watch paint dry potentially because it's been snowing, it's been really cold, and when it gets that cold here, you, you really just have to wear the same thing every single day, which is a puffer jacket. Um, so I actually like the outfit that I'm leaving the house in right now, which is what I'm going to start off with. But then I thought that maybe I would do like what I wish I was wearing if I could control the weather, which I've not worked out how to do yet, um, versus how I actually have to style something. But before I can do any of that, I need to get coffee. And this is what I'm wearing for that. And I just put it on and I was like, well, blow me down. This might be worthy of sharing. You might not agree. Um, what I liked about it is that I actually put together like a tonal black look. Everything, oh, actually the jumper's maybe blue. But everything is black, but a kind of different shade. Um, this is more charcoal-y. These are all washed black. This is navy blue, which has just debunked my theory. These are very shiny patent black. And this is like a matte patent which can't exist is the thing, because that's completely juxtaposing. Um, anyway, everything has a different sort of texture to it, which I liked. My jeans are my beloved Goldie jeans. I was wondering how you might, I feel like there's lots of very good jeans around at the moment at this kind of a price point. I didn't know whether to do a video about them, not testing basics as such, because I wouldn't do a range of prices, but all of this sort of like, £150 to £300 price point. Let me know how you feel about that. Um, tabby boots, I just took these to the cobblers and had them like properly sold, which I'm so excited about because I think it just means they're going to last forever and ever. They've all got like a rubber sole on them and they reinforce that the end of the toe. So, really pleased about that. Money well spent, I'd say. Got a silver belt on from Mango. A Uniqlo sweatshirt, a J. Crew like tank knit. I have so many of these from J. Crew, um, and they're so good for layering. I'll link them because they're like my favourite layering piece because they're so warm. And then my coats from a brand called Amamento that I have quite a few pieces from that I love. And then I've got my little Celine bag, still loving. And I'm gonna pop on my J. Crew sunglasses. I think all in all, this isn't like this is all right. This. We're not too badly. Probably not going to be warm enough, but can't win them all. Look at my new trousers from Mario Mizia Zade. Never know if I pronounced that correctly. Um, who have a shop in the? Oh, I need to charge these. They have a shop in the Lower East Side, which if you're ever in New York, you must go to. It's one of my favourite shops in New York, and I got these on sale. They were like down from six. Hundred dollars ish, something like that, to two hundred and fifty, um, and they're great. They're actually a size too big, which has made them really, really, really long, which is um, an issue I normally have with trousers. And really, the winning detail is this clever double buckle with these pockets. If they're in my right size, I mean these do fit pretty well. Then the pockets just don't stand out quite as much. So I also quite like. Them in this size, and this is how I would wear them if the world was my oyster, weather wise. And I've got on my tabby pumps, which I'm slowly, slowly, slowly breaking in but because it's been so cold, I haven't really had much more chance to wear them. This is the J. Crew knit that I was just talking about, the ones that I'm wearing underneath a lot, which I would also wear in all of their glory once again when it's warm enough. Um, so simple, but like I love a really good pair of trousers for style like this and I think these are really flattering. They had them in black as well but the detailing of all of and they were also full price but the detailing of all the buckles kind of got lost in the black. And now we're gonna wear them how we actually have to make it weather appropriate. Alright um as usual it just ends up being covered up the coat for the winter outfit. I have on some boots from the Grez um which are like a tall boot for a bit of extra warmth. Um, which I mostly have picked because these are the only boots that I have here with a bit of heel height and I need the height because these are so long. But I actually really like how they look. I think a chunky boot works them really well. Then I've just got on another J. Crew cashmere knit, just something black and simple. My Ray um, long wool coat and then this J. Crew leather bucket bag that I showed you in the last video too. Um, and I actually really, really love this outfit. 
I prefer the spring one, but I think that's just because I'm hopeful for spring. But I think this looks very stylish too, especially if you were to add some sunglasses. Here they are. Pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this. Look at this shirt. I'm obsessed. It's from Bangalina Bier. Um, love an off-white shirt. I actually find it a lot easier to style than a really crisp white one sometimes. Um, and this with all of the fringe detailing, it's just so good, so good. And I really like this whole outfit. I'm going to struggle to top this with for a winter version. I've got on these knitted shorts from St. Agni that are often some of my most worn shorts throughout the summer. Um, they're very comfortable as well because they've got a nice big elasticated waistband. And then these boots are AD, um, similar style to the Legrez ones, but they're flat and also brown, which I thought was just added a bit more dimension than a black pair. And then my Celine Romy bag. I like this outfit so much. Um, really like it. I'm really excited to wear this when I can. And I think this shirt is just one of those really great pieces that also, I'm just obviously I'm about to put it with jeans or something, but even like if you want a lazy kind of evening dinner outfit, a piece like this is so good to just throw on and then you're kind of done. I, I have failed at making this weather appropriate. This shirt doesn't, for me anyway, doesn't work under a coat because if you have the collar out of it, it's just too much for me. It feels like too much going on up here with the like, lapel of a coat and this. And if you have it tucked in, it, it's like the, the frills, the fringe just doesn't make sense poking out. I think you need, like your eye needs to be able to see this whole shape for it to make sense. So. I failed at making this winter appropriate, I would say, but I think I have sort of landed on something that you could also maybe wear if you worked in an office and feel quite chic in, dare I say. Um, underneath, which also in itself is just like such a classic bit of an outfit I never ever get tired of. Um, long sleeve black tee from Uniqlo. This is a men's one. Mango belt. And the stories black tailored trousers had these for so long, really good high street piece. And the tabby pumps again. So like I said, but that in itself is an outfit I think is great. And then with this, it's like a jacket layer, obviously not warm enough. And I actually think I would want to take like kind of quite a big, loose baggy bag. Baggy bag, if that makes sense. You know, like something not too structured with this too. But in reality, I'm preferring it just showing you like this. Um, I, would, I would wear this for dinner, I would actually wear this day to day as well, I feel great in this, but I have failed at um, making it winter appropriate, so I'm sorry about that, but great shirt, really really great shirt. Just actually showing you a little bit of detailing up front here. God, these are really really great trousers, they're from years ago. And they had a huge turn up and I had them taken down. Once again, a testament of like, if, if you get a high street piece, like these fit me so nicely around my waist and bum and hips, but the length or something isn't right, it's so worth paying to get them tailored because you can end up with something that looks so super expensive when it's really not. Whew. Right. Piece and focus this time are these J. Crew chinos which is such a good length, they're great. Really nice overfit over the bum. They're a bit of a bastard to keep, not creased, is all I'll say. But aside from that, I love them, really, really love them. And I've gone with like a high-low styling. Um, I'm actually gonna keep this base the same for my winter outfit. Um, so this is the Uniqlo men's sweatshirt, it's size large. This leather woven belt is also J. Crew. It's extra long, so you can wear it like with the end of it pointing down if you thread it through. But I just tried that and it kind of distracted from the really nice shape and fit of these trousers and the crotch. Killer heels from Mango. I'm not the person to judge whether heels are easy to walk in or not because I can't walk in heels full stop. These, I would have to get in an Uber in straight away. They're so high and they're so skinny. Um, and then I would take my little Celine bag. I 
really, really, really like this kind of styling. I so don't often wear heels because, like I said, unless I want to end up in hospital within the first half hour of my nap. It's not for me. I can only really wear this to go to dinner where someone will seat me and I don't have to move. Um, but if you can walk in heels, firstly, I'm very impressed. And secondly, it's so fun to do these like kind of slightly slouchy looks than with a pair of really strappy statement heels. I really like this. Now I'm going to style it with what I would actually wear. And I think that's going to be our last outfit as well because I'm on a roll and I just think we should quit while I'm ahead. Okay, so I'm just going to keep the same face, um, which I like about. I haven't done that. I want it to be slouchier. So I've gone with my Arquette long knit. Again, I would love to just wear this without a coat. My tabby boots. This is a cropped. I actually think a long coat would look better with this, but okay, I'll show you both. I'll just try to show you something varied. This is my men's Philippa K cropped wool jacket. It's not cropped, but you know what I mean. And I think really I would actually just want to wear this, but I was trying to do something a bit different. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? I mean, it all ends up looking the same, but it's definitely better. Um, don't know what to say about this. I think this is my worst outfit in the video, so I was right to say I'm going to put it on my head. And I'm not going to say very much more about it. Love these trousers, though. Um, I think actually, ideally, I'd want a slightly shorter jumper, but still baggy. I just don't think I, that exists in this apartment right now. Um, and to live in a world where we don't cover up every outfit with a coat. However, it is... It is winter, and actually, it's a beautiful coat to wear. Anyway, we're losing momentum, aren't we? So, um, everything will be linked in the description box. I hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.